Alright, so uh, here's my little napping station. Got some tarps down and some. I got rained on last night. I should have brought many tools and stuff inside. But uh, here's some tools I made out of the deer antlers that I had found. The ones that I didn't want to or didn't mind tearing up. I still got the good ones. That one and that one. And uh, but I made some billets of those. And just these little deals. I don't know. I cut them up. You can wax stuff with them or whatever. New handle. But uh, for pressure flaking, I can't get these things to. I ground them down to where I thought they were nice, especially this one. But uh, I can't get it to hardly do much. It kind of breaks the bone. I mean, it's a nice hard antler, but it seems to uh, crush the tip a little bit. Maybe some tips on using these without using the copper nails, which I don't mind getting a copper nail. I just don't have one yet. So, uh, Plus, I'd like to do it with these. So any tips on how to make this tip stronger to pressure flake with, maybe get, let me know. But uh, I'm going out to the back of the cove where I showed a big, big hunk of Mozarkite before. And I said, oh, I'm not going to haul that back. Well, now I'm going to haul it back. I'm going to try to break it apart and bring it back. So I'm going to grab a hammer stone and uh, I don't know. I might just have to bust it and bring it back in chunks. We'll see. We'll get back with you. Well, on my way to the back of the cove to get that big piece of Mozarka I broke up, I I had to start messing around the, at the dump here by the house, and uh, I think I found Pa's other arm. It looks like a left arm. I broke the finger off right here, the ring finger. Hope he, uh, hope Ma never bought him a ring anyway. We can almost make turn that into a pipe or something crazy. Yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, I'm getting a looking for some stuff to nap on. This is maybe almost thick enough. I don't know. It's thicker than the average stuff, and might be able to make something out of that if I don't break it in half in the process, which I probably will. But uh, there's some cool pieces in here, so I don't know what I'll find. I'm gonna go a little bit further and then go find that rock and bust it up. Let me get back with you. All right, there's the hunk. Let's go try to bust it up. Take some of it home. pretty soft. I might have to turn around. <laughs> Maybe it's frozen enough. Yeah. Here we are. Oh, it's got a lot of cracks in it. It might not be worth the trip, but I'm going to start whacking, whacking on it. <laughs> That always sounds so funny. Anyway, I'll get back with you.
some stuff. a few workable pieces possibly I know I'm going about this wrong I've never busted up a big hunk like this so any pointers afterwards would be appreciated probably starting off with a better rock would be a good start but this is what we're doing Horrible job, guys. <laughs> that might be the ticket there. That might be usable. Definitely better than what I've been getting, so. But it is chunky. Oh well. Big crack right out of the middle of it. We'll get rid of here. Just chunking up. Oh well. Yeah. Any way you hit it, it breaks. Oh well. I'm going to turn this thing off. <laughs> Alright, back from the trip. I got some things. Got a little thimble. Camden County, Missouri, which is where I live. It's 
a little bit old, I guess. It's plastic, but H.J. Williams Circuit Clerk and Recorder, Camden County. Got this deal. Maybe some kind of lipstick lipstick deal. Grabbed a metal lid to stick on something I find. Got this little deal. A Heinz lid for when I find a perfect Heinz bottle I want to stick it on. This, uh, I guess it's a cologne deal maybe. R&R. &R. R, R. That's all it says on it. The lid I found separate. I grabbed it so I can put it on, but got a lot of glass. Let's see what happens. Adios. And here are my results after napping some of the glass I dug out. Some of my, well, probably is my best stuff for sure. Especially this one. That was like an old bowl. This was a, I think a Canada Dry ginger ale bottle or something like that. I believe this was Budweiser. Crooked drill. Looks like a pecker. <laughs> and this blade. Preforming steel. I almost got it. It was real thin to begin with, so. I got it all except for right there. I couldn't clear it and on that spot right there, but pretty neat for for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Adios.